you know, we had the gold helmets that, at our school. We had the, the, uh, the Irish mascot. Um, it was destined for me to be here. When Micah Shrewsbury was introduced as the new Notre Dame men's basketball coach last March, it was a homecoming for the Indiana native. Over the span of his 25 year career, Micah has coached at schools all across the state. And by coming to Notre Dame, he's truly back home again in Indiana. You're an Indiana boy through and through. And how much that's really kind of shaped who you are today. I think every part of it from where I grew up to where I've coached. Notre Dame men's basketball coach Micah Shrewsbury was born and bred a Hoosier. I grew up in Jeffersonville, southern Indiana, moved to Indianapolis and lived there. He played basketball at Indianapolis Cathedral High School and went on to play point guard at Hanover College, where he was team captain and honorable mention all-conference his senior year. Then he hit the ground running with various coaching jobs throughout the entire State. And then I coached at the University of Indianapolis, I coached at Wabash College, I coached at DePaul University. I went to, I got my master's degree at Indiana State. Um, I've worked at IU South Bend. IU South Bend wasn't just Micah's first head coaching job, he was the first full-time coach in program history. Micah spent three seasons with the Titans until the allure of Division I pulled him back in. I've worked at Purdue, I've worked at Butler. Uh, now back here at Notre Dame. Micah credits his success to the coaches he's worked with along the way. Most of my time has been with Brad Stevens and, and Matt Painter. And those are the two that I really lean on in basketball philosophy, but in coaching philosophy. You know, I wouldn't be here right now without those two guys. Micah worked as an assistant coach under Brad Stevens at Butler and the Boston Celtics. And he did two stints at Purdue with Matt Painter. What was it about Micah that you wanted to bring him on your staff, not once, but twice? He still had that itch to be the head coach in college, but he wasn't recruiting. He was just doing professional basketball with the Celtics. So I just said, hey man, for this to work for you, to get to this dream, so you're gonna have to come back to college. So if I get an opening, you know, I'd love for you to come back. And I called Brad and Brad was fine with it. So that's kind of how, you know, he got a second tour of duty. So you kind of recruited him. No way. question. Coach Painter is a great coach. He's a great person. How he treats the former players, um, how he takes care of those guys, um, is something that, like, that's what I want here. Micah has drawn inspiration from Painter's relationship with his own players. I want them to know this is their program, right? I'm, I'm just a head coach, but this is their program, and you see that as a Purdue program and what he's doing. And his recruiting philosophy. How he runs his program, how he builds his program, like, he, there's no outside influences with Coach Painter. It is, I'm going to take who's best for me and who's best for my program. Where that person is ranked number one in the country or number 3,001, if he fits, then he's the best for that program. And that's what we want to do as well. While at Purdue, Micah also spent his time developing talent, including current Detroit Piston Jaden Ivey, the son of Irish women's basketball coach Niel Ivey. Well, I think for Jaden, you know, obviously he's so talented. Micah did a really good job just with his patience more than anything of letting things come to him and just understanding the game and teaching the game. And, and it's not about just getting the ball and clearing out a side and having space. You know, it's about reads, it's about knowing your teammates, it's about understanding the defense and what they're trying to do. So Micah spent a lot of time in that film room with Jaden, kind of pumping your brakes. When you're that fast, you can't go that fast every time. You gotta pick your spots when you use your jets and take off. So I think that was really key for Jaden, especially offensively. What well, was Micah's patience and all the time he put in in the film room. Micah has won at every stop of his coaching career, from conference titles to final fours and national championship appearances. His time at Purdue led him to Penn State, where he turned the Nittany Lions program around. Now, he's back home again in Indiana. It really is humbling for me. 
uh, as an Indiana kid that's grown up loving basketball that you know I, I've been a part of some really cool moments in the state of Indiana. How I love for my Indiana home. What an interesting journey Micah has had and definitely some of the best mentors a college coach could ask for. And shout out to Molly Shrewsbury, Micah's wife, for sharing those old school photos with us. I love that. They were high school sweethearts, and she was actually a really good basketball player in her own right. And of course, stay tuned to ABC 57 this March when I hit the court at Mackey Arena for a special edition of Fast Break with Purdue head coach Matt Painter. You might be surprised to find out what his favorite hobby is when he's not in basketball season.